Hi, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joyofbaking.com. Today we're going to make bread pudding muffins and this is what they look like. So what we have is chunks of bread soaked in a rich custard sauce and then I've also tucked in little chunks of apple and some dark raisins. So the first thing you need to do is to preheat your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 165 degrees Celsius. And then you will need a 12 cup muffin pan. I've lined mine with uh, paper liners. You could instead just butter or even spray the muffin cups with a nonstick spray. But what you wanna make sure is really grease the muffin cups because you don't want the bread to stick. So now, two parts, you got the bread and you got the custard sauce. So we will make the custard. You could use, if you have an electric stand mixer, you could use that with the paddle attachment or I'm just using a hand mixer or really you could just bowl with a wire whisk. Now I have three large eggs. You want your eggs at room temperature. So that would be by weight about 150 grams of eggs. And then I'm going to add to that because I'm adding some Granny Smith, like a tart tasting apple to my bread pudding, I'm going to add two thirds of a cup, which is 135 grams of granulated white sugar. If you're not going to add a tart fruit, you could probably cut that sugar back to about a half a cup, 100 grams of sugar. So I'm just gonna put that in there. And then I'm going to beat this just until, you know, maybe a minute, until it starts to thicken just a bit. So that's what we're looking for. Just kind of get some air and it all mixed very well. So that. So then we will add three quarters of a cup, which is 180 milliliters, 180 grams of heavy cream or heavy whipping cream. You could also use another type, like a lighter, uh, less fat cream if you want, but we're making a nice rich bread pudding here. And then I'm adding three quarters of a cup, 180 milliliters, 180 grams of milk. Again, you want a really rich uh, bread pudding. You can use whole, full, full fat, or you could uh, use a reduced fat. And then I'm adding two tablespoons, 25 grams of butter that I've melted. And then let your, your butter cool down to like room temperature. And then for flavoring, I'm adding one teaspoon, four grams of pure vanilla extract. And stir, oh, and just a quarter of a teaspoon, one gram of salt. And I'm just gonna stir all that. Pretty easy custard to make. So let's put that aside. So of course, bread pudding, the bread is very important here. You will need six cups or half a pound, 225 grams of stale bread. Now you want stale bread, so that way it will absorb the uh, custard. You know, because you want it nice and dry. So um, the type of bread, I find I like a bread that has, you know, some texture to it. The artesian breads are very good. They have a, I particularly like, because they have like a thicker outside crust and that one absorbs the custard and baked. It's really good. But, um, and then you just wanna cut it into bite size or you could tear it into bite size pieces. Just like so, pretty easy. Bread pudding was originally done to use up stale bread. So whenever you have some in the house, just gather it all up and make some bread pudding. So I just put it in a bowl. And then I li like to add just a quarter of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Because I'm gonna add some, like I said, chunks of apple. And so apple, cinnamon, bread pudding kind of all goes together. But you could add, if you, that's a very subtle uh, cinnamon flavor. If you want more, you, you know, you could add like maybe a half a teaspoon or conversely, you can just leave that out. So there we have that. Now all you need to do is to pour the custard over the top. 
The reason I say stale bread, if you used a really fresh bread that wasn't, and it didn't have much texture to it, what would happen if you put all this custard, your bread would start to, you know, break down. So now, just toss it. Now I'm going to let this sit, you know, 10, 15 minutes, so it absorbs most of the custard. Now, you could put this in the refrigerator cover and put it in and just let it soak, you know, if you wanted to make this ahead. It's perfectly fine, but, you know, because my bread is probably about four days old, it's going to absorb all that custard pretty fast. So, about 10, 15 minutes. It's been about 10 minutes. As you can see here, there's not a lot of custard sitting on the bottom, so we're ready. Like I said, you could just cover this, put it into the fridge, and let it sit if you wanted to kind of make it ahead of time. So now we're just going to put an equal amount into each muffin cup. That's about, you know, a half a cup, 120 milliliters of uh, the mixture, and then so just kind of evenly. Ice cream scoop is always, I find a convenient way to do this. Okay. As you can see, I don't have <laughs> any uh, custard left on the bottom. My bread was quite stale, so it really absorbed, which is what I like. So. There, okay, and now, as I said, I'm going to add, like, I'm just going to kind of put a few raisins. You could use other dried fruit, you know, like cranberries, cherries. So just tuck as many as you want in there. And then I also like, I just put little chunks of apple. I like to use, like I said, the Granny Smith, the little tartness, because, you know, bread pudding is quite rich, and I really like the apple with that. So you just kind of put it like that. And then once you put your fruit, kind of pre compact that mixture into your muffin cup like so. Okay, so our last one. And I forgot, if you're a chocolate lover, you could put some chocolate chips in here instead of the raisins. So, there we go. So now, to bake these. One of the great things I like about the muffin bread, putting muffins instead of a large, you know, a, usually you make it in a large pan, is we don't need a water bath, and this doesn't take very long. Maybe 20 to 25 minutes, which, so that's, that is real uh, time saver. And what you want is make sure to rotate your pan about halfway through baking time so you get nice even baking. So what you want is them to be set. You'll see some browning on the top. Toothpick inserted into the center will come out clean. So 20 to 25 minutes. So our bread pudding muffins are now done. Place your pan on a wire rack and we're going to let them cool. As you can see, they're set. Got a little crusty on the, on the top here. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. When you put your, uh, your mixture into your muffin cups, if there is any custard left over on the bottom of your bowl, there wasn't with mine, but if there is, just drizzle that over the, the uh, top of your uh, muffins before you bake them. You don't want to waste that custard. So we're just going to let these cool a bit, and then when we come back, we will try one. So to finish off our bread pudding muffins, I like to put a little powdered sugar over the top. And it dresses them up, like so. You know, these are really nice. You know, if you had to go, say, to a potluck, or you were just having a buffet, you know, it's very convenient. You could pack them in a lunch. And like I said, they're, they bake really fast. So let's try a little. <laughs> mm. 
the ultimate in comfort food. <laughs> I like how the bread on the top gets nice and crusty. And then, yet, you know, inside it's nice and soft. And then the little pieces of apple, a little bit of tartness, offset the richness of the bread pudding. These are really good. You could take them out of the muffin cups, serve them with a little ice cream or whipped cream if you want. But I think they're just great just as they are. So try them. And until next time, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com.